Welcome. This is the Minority Health Report with Dr. O. I have a quick question for you. Do you know your phone number? Do you know your date of birth? Do you know your social security number? Now, answer me this. What is your A1C? What? You don't know? Well, hang in there. Let's talk about it. Your A1C, what does that mean? What does that stand for? Why do we use that? Um, if you're a diabetic and you don't know what your A1C is, that is a big no-no, okay? Uh, this is not going to be a long recording because I'm going to go get straight to the point. Your A1C should be between 6.5 and 7. Different authorities describe an ideal A1C in a diabetic to be either 7 or 6.5. So I use, use the range between 6.5 and 7 for your A1C. The real question is, how does the A1C differ from checking my sugar every day? That's actually a simple way I describe that. If you come to my office right now and I check your blood sugar, what I check, what I get with checking your blood sugar right now, let's think of that as a snapshot of, your, uh, of you. If you took a snapshot of me, I'm wearing a gray scrub with a light blue uh, undershirt. That's all you know about me. Your A1C, on the other hand, records your average sugar levels for the last 90 days. So if you, instead of taking a snapshot of me, you got a camera crew and you followed me around and video recorded me for the last 90 days, well, it could be the lifestyle of Dr. O, right? Um, that will tell you way more details over the next 90 days of what Dr. O has been up to. What, where do I live? What do I eat? How do I uh, live my life beyond making YouTube videos and seeing patients? That will give you a much more detailed view of me and where things have been with me. So that's the difference between checking your finger stick right this minute and getting your A1C. So to know what your sugar control has been, Understanding your A1C becomes the most important thing in your diabetic management. To give an instance, um, I'm not a diabetic. Uh, the last time I checked, I'm not. My A1C should be below 5.7, usually about 5.4, right? That is normal A1C, about right around 5.4. Once you start getting 5.7 to about 6.4, A1C that is a whole range of folks we call pre-diabetic. Between 5.7 and 6.4, that's a pre-diabetic. And by the way, there's a whole lot more people in this range than full-blown diabetics. I'm going to make another video to discuss the whole pre-diabetic uh, state, status and what to do about it. But let's leave that for another conversation. So A1C 5.7 to 6.4, that's a pre-diabetic range. Um, if I check your A1C and on more than two occasions, your A1C comes in about 6.5%, that defines diabetes, A1C 6.5% and above. And at that level, the intensity of treatment becomes more than just a lifestyle intervention. All right, so that's what your A1C means and that's what we need to uh, pay attention to. When you go to your doctor, for your diabetes, please make sure you understand what how you are tracking with your A1C. Because it's a 90-day measure, usually, whether it's insurance or whatnot, uh, usually we check it uh, every three months, every 90 days to track and trend. So that gives you a good picture of what your diabetes uh, control has been over a period of time, right? And that should be our reference point. Again, when you're diabetic, the target goal for sugar control is A1C between 6.5 and 7%. All right, I hope this has been helpful. I will flesh out in more details some of the issues surrounding pre-diabetes and what to do about it. And also for diabetic management, there's a lot that is exciting in diabetic management, either med medical ma medication management and what have you. There's a lot of new uh, insights into how best to control your sugar. I hope this short clip has been helpful. Please 
click the subscribe button at the bottom of the uh, video and subscribe to our channel be sure to check back in on a regular basis for more informative sessions thank you